So this is a tutorial for animating GIFs for DS106. I'm looking at the assignment photo at like peanut butter, which uh, challenges you to animate a real world object, uh, turning it into a, an animated GIF. And you could use the technique for taking a slice out of a movie as well. So what I've got here is a, a movie I took of a piece of machinery. I'm going to open it with MPEG screen clip. And what I want to do first is, is to trim the movie to just the bit that I'm interested in and then export it to an image sequence. So if I play the movie, You can see it there, and I can choose an endpoint by hitting I. So I'm seeing a, bit, a wee bit there. To about there. Oops. To about there, and hit the O key. And you can see that selected um, a selection of the movie, and I'm just going to go up there and trim it to that. Now I'm going to export it and I want to export this series of images so I'm choosing export other and then image sequence. My options I'm choosing JPEG and I'm going to say 12 frames per second. Again I'm going to pump the quality up a wee bit. Okay and click OK just leave it the full size at the moment and click OK again and I'm going to put that in the folder just with the, the original movie. I'll rename it. Click save. Now you can see what I've got now is a series of images. preview through. There's 24 of them. I'm going to take the first one, right click it and go open with Fireworks. And this is an old version of Fireworks CS3. Uh, I presume it will work. It works with an even older version. I presume it will work with the newer versions as well. And all I've got now is the image open showing one frame. I'm just going to shrink the size down a wee bit, the view size, so that I can see more of it. Uh, and what I'm going to do is add all of the other, so I'm selecting all the other images and piling them up on top. You can see now they're in, in as different layers on the background layer here. And I'm going to hit Apple A to select all of those and go into my frames and go distribute to frames. And this gives me 24 frames. And I can play these in Fireworks with the play button. Oops. They're not quite smooth. So I'm just going to have a look at the first frame and the last frame you would think it's not too bad quite often if you want a better result which I'll not take the time to do you can delete frames the other thing is because if I look now at the optimize and change this to animated GIF. And if I click preview, it'll give me an idea. Of the size of the GIF that this is going to generate. Now at the moment it's huge because of the... It's 1,280 pixels wide, which is pretty big.
So it would be yeah, 11 megabytes. So first thing I'm going to do is change the size. So I'm going to modify image size and I'll just change that to half size to start with 640. Okay. And we'll see it'll run through the export again. I can probably look at this at full size now. It's still going to be about 3 megabytes. So the next thing I'm going to do is take some frames out. I'm going to take every second frame out. So I'm just holding that command key down and selecting every second frame. And I'll drop those in the dustbin. Now let's watch and have a wee look. Again, if I toggle the preview, it's coming down a wee bit. I'm going to change over here. I'm changing the exact colours just to see what difference it makes. Not an awful lot. So go back to adaptive and I'm taking it down to 128. Makes it a wee bit smaller. Time to have a wee try exporting. Export. No, I want the export wizard because that will give me an idea. Animated GIF. Of any other reductions I can make. You can see it's about 1400k. First thing I'm going to try is taking the size down a wee bit and that's down to under a megabyte at 500 pixels so I'm okay with that exporting it's going to be called wheel one gif I'll just drop it in the same folder. There it is. Not too bad. 